It seems that Tacoma has always lived in the shadow of Seattle, often being referred to as a bedroom community or suburb to the Emerald City. But over the past couple of decades, the city has developed an identity of its own, and that includes being good enough to be the setting of many TV and movie productions. And that's exactly what local producer Greg Marks thinks of his hometown, that it's well-deserving of Hollywood-style recognition. I am having all of these fantasies about some man I have never even met who lives in Seattle. It rains nine months of the year in Seattle. When it comes to movies and Western Washington, Seattle always seems to steal the show, with forever popular movies like Sleepless in Seattle. We're talking to Sleepless in Seattle. You called a radio station? And The Ring. Katie told you she was going to die. Which are movies that make many people outside the city associate with life one way or another here in the Pacific Northwest. But what many movie fans both in and outside of the Seattle area may not know is that other than some pretty exterior shots, many of those movies aren't shot in Seattle at all. They're shot in places like Vancouver, British Columbia, and of course on Hollywood sets, as movies like War Games... Shall we play a game? Oh. And more recently, Fifty Shades of Grey were. But what actually shocks some movie fans even more is the fact that Tacoma has actually played the Emerald City in numerous big films like Ten Things I Hate About You, where among other things, the city's Stadium High School is featured, and the 1990s thriller The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. What goes around comes around and as well as Three Fugitives. And while the 1990s are in the past, Tacoma continues to grow its popularity as a place for producers to use as a backdrop. Well, first of all, I was born and raised in Tacoma. Um, all my biggest life lessons have been taught here, um, and it just resonates with me. I'm like, I almost get teary eyed, man. Local movie producer and founder of the Right Now Today organization, Greg Marks, has lived all of his years in Tacoma, and part of those years, Marx lived on the streets before becoming a community activist and a movie producer. So it's fitting that Marx's latest film is called Trust Tomorrow, which features a desperate man dealing with the loss of his job. Profits are down, and the company's been struggling. I play Mike Jones. Um, he's a working man, and uh, like I'm sure a lot of people have experienced, uh, go through... Uh, you know, the work scene, uh, they gotta let, they got to let you go. And so he goes through this, and it's uh, specifically at a time, I don't want to ruin anything in the right, film, right. but uh, it's let's just say it's at a time where he can't afford to be let go. The movie stars local actors Tyler Roberts, Tabitha Bastian, and five-year-old Tacoma resident Bianca. It was like... <laughs> I was in the real movie. Real, 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 real movie. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so real movie. Trust Tomorrow is the latest of three movies that Greg Marks has produced and directed so far in his hometown. In 2016, he produced and directed Jonah, an inspiring movie about a hard of hearing boy who used swimming competition to overcome being bullied. It's also one of my ways to relax, just like being in water. Actors who work on Mark's sets say it's his Tacoma-like, down-to-earth approach to filmmaking that make him among their favorites to work with. I feel really lucky to be involved with this film because Greg, as a director, had such a clear vision, but he also gave us, actually, as actors, room to build our characters and play a little bit and even do some improv on some lines, whatever we needed in the moment to stay present and in the scene with our characters, so that was really helpful and awesome. But to Marx, it's no secret that Tacoma is a gem when it comes to venues to film a movie. Uh, usually in Seattle you have to pay a fee to film on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I, when I called down there and I told them I was doing there's no guns or violent scenes or anything like that, they're like, just don't worry about it, we'll call the police department, we'll let them know that you're going to be filming on these days. And the police actually rolled by and were like, hey, they knew my name. Hey, Greg, good to see you. How's everything going? Everything all right here? So that was kind of cool, you know, because we didn't have any kind of, you know, problems at all with it, any of the streets. or in. While Tacoma may be a friendly and cooperative city to film a movie, there's also another perk to using the City of Destiny as a movie venue. It's inner and surrounding beauty. 
it feels like a lot of people are coming down to this area to film. Um, there's all, so many, especially like the downtown area, so many cool old buildings. And it's actually pretty beautiful in a lot of places. Well, we just live in such a, a unique, uh, beautiful part of the world. And I've uh, had the opportunity to travel around a little bit, um, see other countries and whatnot. And it's just, it's hard to uh, compare it to the Northwest, yeah. especially in, you know, spring, summertime. Um, oh. <laughs> but um, yeah, to, to be able to do this in your home and kind of give people little landmarks that they recognize and, um, and to, yeah, show, just showcase it and kind of rep it and stand behind it. And while local movie producers love to feature Tacoma in their films, other up-and-coming artists agree that Tacoma is the best place to work. Taylor Honey is a seasoned photographer who just opened her first studio in the Tacoma area. She says it's the perfect mix of small and even big city charm. There's an excitement there that, that you might not necessarily get in a big city and you might not necessarily get in a very small town. Um, and I think that what I've experienced in Tacoma is a lot of warmth and a lot of excitement and a lot of like um, desire to co-create and um, to help, really. I've, I've, everybody's just been so helpful and so welcoming. To some, it's easier to say they're from Seattle when visiting places out of the region. But Marx has a different approach one involving loyalty to a community that he loves. If I ever do become really big or do something really special, I don't, I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm from Seattle, or I'm from, I'm gonna say, no, I'm from Tacoma. This is where my roots are. This is what got me started. These are people that welcome me to do film and that, you know, like if I ever got like an award, I, you'd hear Tacoma come out of my mouth. You know what I mean? <laughs> Trust Tomorrow is currently in post-production and expected to be released in mid or late 2018. We'll keep you posted on the exact release date on social media. That's it for Northwest Now Digital First. Until next time, I'm Chris Anderson. Thanks for joining me.